Craig, small batch. Woo. Oh, already? Woo. That's good stuff, man. It is good. That's crazy. It's your boy, Loser Loop. <coughs> Ooh, it's like 60 degrees. It's January 6th, Thursday, 8.46 p.m. Started a little uh, earlier today because I've been going pretty late. And I got things to do in the morning. I, I got to act like I care now. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm just sitting in the back of the room. Got some of the homies right here. We're jamming morning music right there. Hey, but right hey, next to me is my boy hey. Dunswood. Yo, 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 yo. If they want to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? You can find me anywhere at Dunswood. Real simple. D-U-N-N-S. W O O D. Dunswood.com coming soon. And we got Jamal right here. How you doing tonight, Jamal? Oh man, good days, good days. You know, well, you know, you got me all the time. Hard work pays. Uh, That's what it is. At, at hard work pays. At hard work pays. I'm, I'm gonna follow that right now. And right next to him is 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 you know hey, Mr. Bram, Mr. Brown Boy Funk himself. It's Brown Boy Funk here. Um, Zertronic baby, you know. So what's up? shout out to Lou. Thank you for having all of us here. Yo, it's a pleasant surprise. I didn't think I was going to see Luke. you today. Me neither, man. It's like my third time here. <laughs> and ne- ne- next to Mr. Zerk right there is Dolph. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? <laughs> if they want to get a hold of you, how can, get a hold- how can they get a hold of you? Uh, I'm everywhere. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter at Good, Good, Not Bad. Uh, Instagram, Dolph. Uh, Hold up, that's your actually, Twitter handle. Good, good, not bad. Good, good, but not bad. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's dope. <laughs> I like that. And um, on Instagram, you can find me at Lord dot Dolph. If, if anyone wants to ch- 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 work quick, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> and um, over there at um, Dolph nine oh nine, also on Instagram as well, and also the second half of at Morning Music. Yeah, that's Final Morning Music that we're playing right now. Did I do that right? Morning dot. Yeah. Oh, it's just Lord Dolph. There's no. But uh, yeah. With the Z, I got you. Morning dot music. And this is morning dot music. Morning. (laughs) Morning dot music. This is morning dot music. But not morning like good morning like. like, Oh yeah. yeah, Like morning. M O U R N. And next to next to Dolph right there is you know Mauto. Hey, what up? What up? It's your boy. Pleasant dreams, aka Hispanic hot chocolate, balling in the mix. What up? I like that Hispanic hot chocolate. Yeah. It's kind of like brown boy funk. <laughs> yeah, right. No, no, no. I have a cease and desist. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what's this track called that we're listening to? This one here. Y'all don't even know, Synth huh? Hmm? Synth Lord. Oh, this is Synth Lord. Sorry. The fuck? Been a hey, don't, don't be afraid to get close to the mic. This is Synth Lord. This was uh, the first techno track we dropped off uh, our album Church. We just recent we dropped that one on Halloween, so that was fun to do. How many albums y'all got together? Right now we got two. Two. We got Gonzo, our first album, and then Church, our second one. And right now, starting the year off right, we're starting our our third album. It's gonna be another house album. That one's gonna be called House of Morning. Hey, I like that. I like that. I like the whole morning vibe. Like that's it's different. I like that. We like that. We like it a lot. So what? How y'all liking the cold weather? Loving it. No, my it's people very, are tropical. Yeah, you don't fuck with it. No, my people are tropical. <laughs> we come from we come from Africa. We don't like uh, this cold shit. It's very nippy. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's been getting a little colder over the years, man. Man, it's look, I don't too nippy. Go into that. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get another freeze, guaranteed. You think? Oh it's, yeah, it's gonna happen. Like last year? Now. Probably la- like last year. Yeah, maybe even worse. Who knows? Damn. Oh, yeah. oh. Man, I didn't even like realize that. Crazy. Yeah. Fuck that. Worse. Maybe even worse. Who knows? Oh. Maybe hey, I remember, I remember Zer- Zerk was chilling with me here. He had no power, so I went to go scoop him. Oh, yeah, dude. Man, my power didn't work. My water didn't work. Um, I was charging my phone off of a car battery. It was like Mad Max. Yeah. He was shitting a in a fucking, Home Depot I bucket. A, <laughs> <laughs> I was just shitting H-E-B bags. Right. Yeah, that freeze, that freeze was pretty wild. Yeah, that shit sucked, man. I got, I got lucky, like. Nothing really affected me except that they got cold. H E B line sucked. I remember you hit me up and you're like, "Hey, if you don't answer this text, I'm going to do a wellness check." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you didn't answer for like a day. Yeah, I think my uh, shit was just dead or something. Right. <laughs> That's funny. But it was like a journey to get to your crib. I, I bet, bro. Like it was a journey to get anywhere when the I, when the roads a, were frozen. A, a trek. 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. It was a trick. You came on foot. <laughs> no, I came on my, uh, had, my alpaca. Lou had the fucking He walked snow through the shoes. snow with uh, <laughs> the those fucking, like, those, <laughs> what was it? Uh, the tennis racket looking shoes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so what, what you been creating? I know you can make things. I remember that. Yeah, man. Um, for those you don't know, again, Dunswood, uh, what I do is I take... Basically, in the simplest way, I take wood that I find and I make badass furniture out of it. Sick. Dope. And uh, working on a few things. So, so what do you mean? You just, like, find the wood? I, I dumpster dive, uh, brush pickup, bulky pickup. You know, there's I got, I got little routes around the city of where I find <coughs> shit. I mean, like, day, looking at your work, you lots. would never think of that. <laughs> That's like, the point. Yeah, dude, like, look, like. Look, I'm going to pull it up and show y'all, because this, this dude, he's pretty amazing with the woodwork. Yeah, I saw some of your stuff on your page on Instagram. For Very real? nice, yeah. Lou told me about you, and I immediately went ahead and checked oh, it out. Shit. Cool. Like, yeah. I appreciate that. The home- craziest thing is, like, you, when you see the shop, you just see, like, all this fucking wood. It's just, like, everywhere. You're just like, damn, what the fuck are you doing with all this? <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden, he just, he just turns around and goes... Look at this, and you go, holy shit, that's like a whole cabinet. That's a whole wall. <laughs> Fucking and it's just here. Tables and all kind of shit just yeah. pumps out of just like it's, shit it's, that you just saw. You're it's, like, Whoa. it's chaos in there. Oh, it's dangerous badass. if you don't know where you're walking. Because <laughs> it, I call it the dungeon because, you know, Dunswood, my, you guys get this shit. I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, so I call it the dungeon because in the summer it's hotter than it is outside. And now it's cold. It, it's just like the however the elements is, and it's real gorilla <laughs> laid back style of, of woodworking. Very, very nice. This is thank so you, sick, you. bro. How long did it take you to make something like that? Like, how big is that? Uh, that's like uh, two feet by four feet. I mean, it looks it looks massive there, man. Yeah, yeah. Sure. This shit is only two feet by four. Wait, feet, what but is it's this? Like, it's it's it, super it, dope because it's like. It weighs two like. Two hey, don't be afraid to get close to the mic. <laughs> yeah, so it's like two by two pieces, but that shit is like a hundred pounds. Right. <laughs> you're like, dude, this is every everything's massive. heavy. Everything's heavy. Wait, and, but what is uh, this? That's that's fence Very post. Nice. It's wood. Oh shit! It's fence post. I thought you it see was what like I mean? It looked. I thought wall, it was like a like wall a, too. Like a shell, I could do like a wall. A, like a I'm pretty sure shell. you could. I could do but a wall. You, you tricked right. everybody. Like I, yeah, I promise yeah, you, yeah. everyone looks at this and it's they're like, wood stack, "Damn, right? that's a fucking yeah, wall." Yeah, it's. it's oh, fuck, I cut man. them in different sizes and I put that, them on. I glue them. Dude, that tripped me out. And gold spray paint and some Jackson Pollock paint yeah. splashes and 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 then you use those for that's actually a little one. That's a little one. And then you use those for fence posts. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's, that's dope because it's like like people throw all, those shit away all the time. It's all different up top. Mean, I don't know. When you think of a fence post, like you just think wood. of boring, same thing, repetitiveness. You know, morning wood. I heard morning, morning wood. Morning, wood. Oh. morning, morning music wood. is bound Dunge to happen. Wood. Oh man, hey, it's, <laughs> let's get a work table. Going. It's got <laughs> lay it on me, bro. Lay it on me. A workstation table. You know, for yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Dust top and. DJ booth, if you guys need oh, a DJ yeah. booth. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah, now no, I'm talking. I'm down for anything, man. I'm down Boxes for anything. For and basically, that's what it is, but man. I do anything that people ask me to do. Oh, yeah, so. Did you hear that one? That's a good one right Boxes there. Boxes for records, man. I would totally oh, yeah. buy a fucking like. Oh, yeah. I need crates. Yeah, I'm just using like H E B fucking oh, bags cool. and shit. But I want like something that fits it. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I got that's you. Sick. That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. What I miss? I miss something. I, I miss bags. He said HEB bags. I was like, like no, he's got to carry around records. He like, HEB bags. I knew they were doing it. Like, like, like a homeless dude with like three bags on his back. Like, yeah, yeah I got like. Selena bag. Uh, DJ you'd, you'd homeless. Ha- you'd have to do double bag, though. Yeah, like paper bag. No, I have crates, like milk crates. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I knew you were saying that shit, saying. man. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what they're talking about. Hey Lou, I got something I want to run by you. What's what's that? What are you talking um, about? What's going on? So I'm I'm with this uh, art group, black art group called Art of Four, and there's an Eye of the Beholders gallery where um, I'm a member of, right? Uh huh. And so for for years, probably like 
I don't know, six or seven years, I've had this idea of placing like a bench in the middle of nowhere with a sign that says tag me. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm, I got you. Hell yeah. And so, yeah. With a sign saying tag me, be respectful to tags. Um, that, that's, that's one thing though. In graffiti, like, Ain't no one respect. Right, 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 right. Graffiti. Well, writing. that's that's also why I want to bring it up to you. So, so long story short, um, tomorrow at three, I have a meeting with the director of arts and culture. Oh, crazy! From from this collective you're talking about? Yeah. Well, no, from the city. Oh, dope. Even doper. So I'm trying to get uh, this project going, and so I'm going to do. A, a big bench for each district and kind of leave clues on my Instagram, social media. And I want like, I don't want no big name graffiti artists. I want people sitting at home like bored and saying, you know, I really want to tag. So it's just going to be a bench. Like it's like, going to be, like, a, it's not it's like, a, a, it's not like a bus stop. It's just going to be a lone it's, bench. It's I'm, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get it no, straight no, no. before you got okay. people sitting there waiting. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> no, it's gonna be out. It's gonna be out in the middle of nowhere. It's not gonna be anybody any bus stop. Okay, okay. It's okay. gonna be like an arts installation. Okay, right. And so the idea is for somebody who, you know, might draw at home or or need a place to tag, and also for the guys that aren't climbing up, climbing up on the freeway. <laughs> Trying to tag and shit where it's mad dangerous. You got to be a uh, Tomb Raider to be up there to, 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 to tag your stuff. I think that's hella dangerous, but I love, I love graffiti. Uh, I can sit in front of a, a, a train all day and just watch all the different art from all the different places. Yeah. That is the shit to me. And plus, you know, hip hop is in my blood and that's, that's a major staple. Yeah, hey, I like it. that. I like that idea. Yeah, that's I mean, what I think me- about when I go to like a train stop. You're, you're sitting in traffic because, of like, this whole train is going by. But instead of dreading being in that traffic, you see, like, a bunch of graffiti Beauty. coming from, like, right places. Man, know, yeah, 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 yeah. Iowa, know. Idaho. How do New they York, do Montana. that? Montana. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love it. Where where, it. Where, where where they fearing? So, basically, I wanted to be a free space so they can tag how they want to without any retribution, mm-hmm. without the police hounding them. And then I'm going to be patrolling. And if I see, like, this bitch is done, I want to try to get it out as fast as I can. You know, get it to or store it, preserve whatever is on it. You know what I'm saying? And um, Yeah, man, let me know the dates and, like, where you're going to put it up. Like, right, right, right. Like, so I'm, I'm, I want to take pictures of that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like I, I like, I like, I took this picture of this bus stop the other day. Like, I'm weird, dude. The sign, I love that sign so much. And it's like the simplest shit. You know what I mean? Fresh daily corn tortillas. Like, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Like, <laughs> I pulled over just to do that shit. Like, this old lady was cool enough to, like, let me stand in front of her car while she was at the red light. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. she honking at you, like, I'm ready to get to HEB. Hurry yeah. up. <laughs> if she saw me, though. She was just like, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I was what, just like, uh, cool. What, it's what, like her what week compelled right there. you to take that picture? Uh, what was it? Dude, all right. So that building. That it's on, it's uh, it's like where Martin and Zazamora, like it's. I, I guess they used to do wrestling there. That's what FK's oh, pops yeah. always tells yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Well, like it's just like the building now, like just two walls. Like everything mm-hmm. else is pretty much gone. I've I think, seen it. I think they're getting ready to sell it, or they sold it to someone. And like, it's either gonna get knocked down or it's gonna get gentrified. Right. And if that gets gentrified, that little bit, that, that, that little corn tortilla sign's gone. Right. I, I don't know. I think that's dope. Like, that's what makes, right. you know what I mean? Being it's in the West, be being here. in the West. You Turn know what I mean? Turn into a smoothie like, shop or some shit like that, right? Hey, that wouldn't be too bad, though. <laughs> right. That would not be too bad. And, Let's and, make and, it happen and 2023. You get, keep, you get to keep the sign. Right. Hey, we That'd can be rescue dope. it. Just we can take go the rescue sign. it one Fuck day. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but but that's how that's how I've been noticing it is in the hood now. Like, like if you don't take a picture of it, Two months is gone. Uh, yeah. So, like, I don't know. I feel like we're slowly being erased and slowly being replaced. That's, that's why my shop is in the hood. Yeah? Yeah. I'm on the east side, uh, north New Braunfels. Hey, it's, I'm in that area. Yeah. So, th- the idea of building our own stuff yeah. and kind of scaving 
Gentrification is the idea. Man, I went and I talked to some kids in a... Man, what school was it? It was right by the Hayes Bridge. Uh, they're, they're called the Light Catchers. They're a group of uh, children that uh, they take pictures. Right, right, right. And they're like, you know, maybe like 10 years old, 8 years old. Mm-hmm. And like, dude, they knew they knew shit about the camera. I didn't even know. They were schooling me. I heard dope. you talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we were shooting there in the East. And it was cool because these kids understood what was going on. Like, I know at that age, I just, I couldn't grasp that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I don't know. Like, well, because people our age are teaching them. Damn, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're really right about that. Right, because we had to figure our shit out, right? <laughs> we, had to, right. We, we had to understand what right, Furious right. Styles was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Our parents let us go anywhere, man. Oh, yeah, dude. I would take the Via bus everywhere. <laughs> when I was younger, shh. <laughs> I think we're the last, the last to do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you know what's funny? Like, it's crazy because, like, me and Daryl, we, when we were in elementary school, we had to walk to school. But it was a fence that only opened during certain certain hours, right? Uh-huh. Right. So if you got up late and you missed school, you had to catch the city bus all the way back around to oh, get man, to school. Oh, man, that sounds like work. Yo, so, and this is elementary school. This so, is like wow. sixth grade, fifth grade and sixth grade. So, we, yeah. So basically, we lived on Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii, and the other side of the fence was Pearl Harbor. Oh wow! So we had to crawl wow. under the fence, and then we're on Pearl Harbor side. You know what I'm saying? It's that close. So, if you think about World War II and the Japanese coming and invading and, and tearing shit up. <laughs> There's bullet holes in both sides, Air Force and Navy, because they're they're right here. So it's a trip growing up, and uh, wearing chanclas. <laughs> it was a trip growing up every day of the week. You yeah, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what the the funny part was is like we were talking about this in the shop the other day. Like we're probably the first, I don't want to say first, but like a few people that grew up skateboarding and boogie boarding. And surfing and like skin diving like that was what we did all the time it was crazy i mean so hawaii Hawaii was dope hawaii was dope hawaii was very (laughs) dope (laughs) i rode my bike to the pro bowl dope yes yeah (laughs) which island were you on oahu Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know any of the islands. I don't know any of that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That that just seems like a good question to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Don't let me explain them all because I'm out of practice. But (laughs) but good times, good times. So, wait, have have, uh, have y'all done any shows lately? Um, 800 Live. Oh. Are you doing it or you did it? We We did did it. When? Oh, we're not supposed to tell the date, but. February. We're gonna oh, be... so you're doing it? No, oh, we did one. We did they one, now we're they liked it. what the fuck we did the first. Well, time. let's talk about what you did before. Okay, we yeah, find out yeah, what okay. you're doing. Okay. So, what y'all okay. do there? I want to hear this shit. So, don't be afraid to get close to the mic, man. I got booked on the day after on Black Friday. So, and this is this is Pleasant Dreams, right? This here. is Pleasant Dreams solo. So, they booked me over there, 800 live. And that was a solo thing. They're like, "Damn, I really like the shit you play, this and that," and then. Some promoter in the crowd, Steffi Hakubi, that's what he goes by. Very nice lady. It's a man. Very nice man. <laughs> His name is Skirf- Steffi, though. Skirfler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a writer. <laughs> a wonderful person. So yeah. He's a great guy. Great guy. He was like, hey, I have a show next weekend. Like, I want to book you for it. Like, you down? I And I was like, you know what? Hey. I'm in this fucking duo. Morning, why don't you book us instead? It's like, fuck yeah, more the merrier. So, got Dolph on the lineup with it. We went in, and he. Was, I asked him, what do you want us to play? Where, you said 800 Live? Where's he, that? He found me it. Where's 800 Live? 800 Live is over there behind the old Lulu's. Right there by the oh, gay strip. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Right yeah. there by 35. Yeah. Like yeah. a block away from 35. Yeah. Okay, okay. By Mr. Pencil. Right. Yeah. So shout out to Mr. Pants. <laughs> so uh, that we played that, me, and they wanted us just to do house, and then it was a hard style show. I haven't fucking played hard style in fucking years and years, like it's been since like 2013. So people weren't really feeling the house vibe. Everybody was just like, 
Like, oh, this is just background music. This isn't... They didn't come there for that. Yeah. Nobody came there for house music. Yeah. So I told Dolph, I was like, hold on. Just, just give me 10 to 15 fucking minutes. I fucking dug through, like, a folder I haven't touched in eight fucking years. What you playing? I bust out, like, fucking old school techno and hard style that... When you say old school, it's old school to you. I'm talking about, like, say... I'm talking about shit from, like, 97 uh-huh. to, like, 99. Okay. Like that, like, OG hard style shit like that. Like, good rave techno shit. But fucking pulled that out and that's when they started having fun that's when okay i was speaking their language and stuff like that so the promoter was like whatever the fuck y'all did right there i want y'all to do that shit again coming in february <laughs> so you got a show like so now in we're february. Gonna be booked in february so we got that one going that's cool that's what's up that was a lot of fun lot it'd of be fun. cool to know what day but that's cool i don't even know the day yet he was like it's february like i was like okay i'll stay in the loop there maybe we go. maybe he means the whole month. Oh man, that's too much every work. day. <laughs> man, he's like, hey, so what's this we're jamming right here? This right here is my Mike Jones. This is me, my Pleasant Dreams, Mike Jones remix, H O E House over everything. I made this track because okay, my boy Zerktronic here. He has a track. Um, what is it? Still sipping or what? H- house sipping. Yeah, house sipping. It's House Sippin'. And I fucking love that track. I fucking love that track. And that was like one of the tracks I first fell in love whenever I first met Zerk. And I was like, you know what, man? Like, I love the Houston rap vibes. I love that shit. But to mix it with House, it's fucking beautiful. So I wanted it to be basically like a sister track uh-huh. to Zerk's track. Oh, okay. okay and so okay. that's why I have it. And if you if you play them side by side, they complement each other so beautifully. Just like... Transition from one transition to the other. Oh, okay, I got you. Gorgeous. What's up? Music porn just happened just now. Oh, yeah? He just just jizzed all over the mic just now. Oh, great transition. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Dolph, how long have you been doing music? Since I was 13? Yeah? Yeah. Can, is, there, is there anything we can hear earlier, Dolph? Like, from me? Yeah. On MySpace. Anything on Morning or anything on Dolph909 that I post now, but, like, that's just, you know, just, uh, it, take it with a grain of salt. Like, it could be a song. It couldn't be a song. It's just something I just came up right then on the spot at that moment. So that's when I'll post it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. And uh, But, no, I've been... I, I don't have anything released out yet. I plan to by this by this year. There will be Dolph, Dolph music. <laughs> okay. Good. There right. Will be That's Dolph. what I'm about fucking time. This dude for real, like his shit is like fucking hard. Man. I like, needs to put some heavy out. bass, heavy claps. This year. Like everything, really, everything I like that heavy I need to put, claps. Everything that I need to put in, it's got to be heavy. What's the Instagram? Like, it's like Dolph. What? Dolph nine oh nine. Yeah, if you want to check that out, yeah, you can see like you know little parts of this. And the song, the song you're hearing right now is Mile High Club, and that's the second song that me and Pleasant Dreams produced. So every song that you listen to on Gonzo, our first album, it's in a row. So like every song that we made at that certain time, that's when we like put it like, okay, this is gonna be the song. And like each song is very genuine. Each song is a part of its own time. Uh-huh. So like, you know, this was like, you know, all right, we're sticking to this stuff and we're going guns blazing with it. Each song had its own battle, it has its own vibe basically. Like the very first one we did, Done Playing the Fool, that one took one fucking day to knock it out. One fucking day, twenty-four hours, knocked it out. Mile High Club, the one you're listening to right now, bro. This has such a like, a, took, like an old school feel to it. That's what we like. That this we is like, like a tribute to that old school house. We like mixing like, like a house. I hear it. I totally with, hear it. Like, like, like I get say, it. Say a disco and a jazz. <clears throat> like, I like the jazz. Oh, I like that. Yeah, we thought the it was horns. like a gold feel when we put in those like horns. So when did y'all put this out? We put this out last year, Halloween. Halloween. Halloween last year. Well, so actually, just just like a couple months ago then, right? No, no 2020. No? 2020. Oh, okay, We did okay. release uh, Church on, on Halloween. Halloween. This, oh, okay, this, okay. this album is actually how uh, uh, me and Morning like linked. 
Oh, really? Yeah, because Pleasant sent it to me. And I remember I was just like, what the fuck? I didn't, I, I didn't know who else was making house in San Antonio. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I was making house, but, like, no one was really doing what I liked. Man, I know I know, I know, you got a show on Sunday, and it sucks that I can't, like, promote it because this won't be out till later in the week. But, yeah. But I, okay. Sunday's going to be dope, bro. No, Sunday's going to be sick. Like, what, it's is, it, be, is it a night thing? Is it a day thing? Uh, it's 4 to 8. It's at Hello Paradise, which is on Broadway and... Grayson? Yeah, there you go. There you go. I think, yeah, yeah. Gentrifiers! Gentrifiers! <laughs> but um, that's going to be my event where, like, I, I spin straight vinyl. So I'm spinning straight wax. Like, So you know. it was, like, maybe, like, two months ago. This is a we're, we're, we're in my homeboy's car. Uh, my homeboy Aaron's car. AP's car. And I'm sitting there with a, a, a Zerk, Aaron, and another friend of our Z's. In the Camaro. In the Camaro. Top down. <laughs> Top Shout down. Outs. We're on Grayson and right, right, right there on Grayson and what now? Uh, uh, Broadway. No, no, no. Grayson and South Alamo. There you go. Or Alamo. Grayson, and, Grayson and Alamo. Yeah. And I see this like happy little couple walking to like Hello, Par- Hello Paradise or somewhere. He's got and the I'm, Salmon shorts. And I'm just oh, like, like oh, she's got the sweater over her neck. <laughs> oh, really? And I just yell at him, Gentrifiers! Oh, and man. bro, they turned around. So so disgusted, like I, I died. Like I could, I. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I yeah. could, st- I could stop laughing for like twenty minutes. Yeah, like, I mean, it was, that was like pure. They look so guilty. That was so pure. That was so pure. They, they, they took they over have... some old lady's house. Like, <laughs> that's the fucked up part. Right. I believe this. There's a fireplace in her kitchen. right That was now. so much fun. That was oh a good time. God. I don't think I, I, I wish I wish that could have been caught on tape, but oh well. Yeah, it's way cheaper than Austin. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh <laughs> almost. It's it's getting there, especially getting like that there. part of town. Right, that, right. that part of town is crazy, man. Yeah. Like the- no, that's what they were saying. Oh it's yeah. Gentrify. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's cheaper sure. than Austin. Yeah. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I feel like I would just I would be so pissed if I was just like this old man. I have my house I've lived in for so many years. I die, and then in the afterlife, someone buys my house, turns it into a fucking bar, <laughs> put rats are twerking on the table, and what I built with my own sweat and tears. I had a wife here. My first three children were my born kids here. Slept over there. Kids <laughs> slept over there. I fucking, hey, it's it's it's. I it's built the dog man. house in the back. It's like really, it's really happening right now, especially the on dogs that part buried of in the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I find that offensive. Someone animate that. <laughs> no, it's funny you say that. I remember like when my dogs passed. I remember my oh, dad was all buried uh, in the backyard yeah. one morning. And I was just like, man, fuck, like we were going home for <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> like just straight up, or did he put it in like a box or something? Right. I, yeah, it's he put right it. There. He put it in a little box. Okay. You know, he wrapped so it, it in a like, box. Just a dog. <laughs> just, just, just a dog just in a, a hole. Dog in the <laughs> hole. Yeah, man. Hey, Lou, come help me. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's your dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, good times. <laughs> that absolutely sounds this like. Why I didn't want to get dogs? Right. <laughs> hey, sure. it, 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 it's, it's crazy. Your damn yeah. dog. Dig this hole. <laughs> he's, like, like, uh, he's like Vinny from Godfather. Yeah. Like just. I've never seen Godfather. What? What? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen, seen Godfather, Godfather either. Godfather. Don't worry Goodfellas. about it. I've never seen it. Goodfellas is no? shit. I've seen Goodfellas. Can we talk about Goodfellas? What do you want to talk about, Goodfellas? How fucking good it is. Like what? Talk to me. Fellas. <laughs> <laughs> the fellas in it. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, Robert De Niro goes hard in that movie, and Ray Liotta, he's a shit. Hey, man, that movie. Yoda? Ray Liotta. Oh, this is Goodfellas talk. Radio. Yeah, I, 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 radio. I love that movie. Like, it's great. Goodfellas like, podcast. Yeah. Everything about Goodfellas. They're, they they probably got one. I know the people from Sopranos got one. Podcast. Yeah, fucking. Uh, the people from The Wire got a dope one too. Christopher and uh, that one guy that got shot in the train shop. They're the ones that have the podcast. Talking Sopranos. Yes, yes. Y'all ever watch The Sopranos, dude? Yeah. Dude, I the saw Sopranos that like five, six times. This TV guy. Show of all time. That show is the shit. I love The Sopranos, What'd man. What'd you think about the movie? I haven't seen The Many Saints of New York yet, but <laughs> I plan to. Newark? Looks good. Newark. 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 
I'm walking here. Man, I saw it. I need to give Brick it another City. run. Like, I really didn't. Have, Dude, I, you I were guess pissed. I, when I, you, when you told me about I, it, I was you were pretty mad. Pissed. I didn't like the way I they portrayed understand. some of the characters and shit like that. Maybe I need to watch it with an open mind, not being such a fucking a fan in the of the show. <laughs> That's how mad you were. I, I, I was oh, pretty pissed. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pull his fist out. What happened? <laughs> the other, uh, did you see the movie? No, I haven't seen no, it. Did you ever see Sopranos? Yes. Yeah. Well, the movie. They the, fucked it up. I think so. I don't know. Some of, some of the characters looked a lot older than they were supposed to look, I think. Uh, I heard his son did pretty good playing Tony Soprano as a young Tony Soprano. You, you know what? I uh, let that other shit piss me off so much. I don't remember much of the movie, but I don't remember liking it. But I think it was because I was just pissed. Right. Well, man, if you want to, I need, I need, I need to give it another. I need to give it another. We can game. watch it together. Right, hey, let's, we'll let's, stop let's, talking. You'll make the popcorn. Let's 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 make Redbox a thing and go and get Redbox. <laughs> Redbox. <laughs> I heard. I heard they were buying out Blockbuster. They already bought bo- uh, Blockbuster. No? Yeah, that group of hackers. Yeah, yeah. And they're just like, what? What, what the fuck are they doing? With Blockbuster? I think there's only one store, and it's like a nostalgic store, right? Shit, you know? But it just like sells that. like souvenirs. So gentrified. No, no, no. They sell like videotapes, but they're just like there. Like they just have they're, a brick and mortar. Like the one. That's their thing. It's like one last blockbuster. They're the Alamo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Fuck the Alamo. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Bro, but still, like for real. I like, agree. I agree. But I've been wanting to make like a like. I've been wanting to make a hat with the Alamo burning, but I know everyone will be mad at me for doing that. That's sacrilege. But, I mean, it wasn't sacrilege. Because <laughs> where we're at, like, right, I don't think I'm people saying. would get it. Maybe they might. Maybe. Well, there's there's like a crazy book that's like about like the lies they've told us about like the big tales of Texas. And all yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, 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 yeah. For real, I've never heard of this book. Uh, Talk fuck, to me about it. Like, school, I can't, school your boy. I don't, I don't know the name of it, but I was like. I saw it somewhere where they were just talking about like how everything that we're that we taught that we were taught about Texas history is just like completely false and just like kind of like um, widened up, I guess you know, like all the white guys are the fucking heroes and all this shit, and they don't understand that like Texas was just trying to keep slavery at the time, so that's why they were like fighting against Mexico because right. Mexico was like like everyone's free, like this is a whole country and shit like that, and they right. didn't really like fuck with slavery, so. They fought with Texas, and Texas was resentful. And then, like, of course, us living in Texas, we they got to teach us that these were heroes and shit, but they really weren't. They were yeah, like, man, yeah. They're terrorists, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Straight up, yes. Because this whole land was just like Mexico, you know what I'm saying? And yes. It's just like. Yes. Right. Yeah. They, 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 Vic- I've heard, I've heard Vicente, a lot of things. Vicente Guerrero I was know. the first black president of Mexico. Yeah. Right. For sure, yeah. He's on the money, right? He was a general, and he was, uh, I don't think mestizo is the correct phrase, but. Didn't he escape from slavery and move to Mexico, well, and then, like, later on? Well, like, that shit, yeah. truth be told, man, if if you tested anybody's blood, we're, we're all black. You know what I'm saying? We fucked our grandma. Look at your hair, Vato. I know, dude. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get wet. Right, right, right He's right, black right. from the waist down. But <laughs> slavery was outlawed, Whoa. you know? And it's not Whoa. that kind of podcast, man. You, if you think about I've what you it. just said. Dang, right. That's scary. <laughs> like all of downtown right there. All of downtown right there. I was walking through downtown so, one day, right? So like Pleasant. And no, walking no. around downtown. Holding hands. Around, no. Holding hands. And I was just like, holy shit, dude. We're walking in a graveyard. Right. Oh, we're yeah. walking in like this. Battlefield that just happened. Battlefield. It's just a bunch of buildings. Can you imagine yeah, they dude. used to auction off slaves there? Yeah, dude. I yeah. can't believe that, man. So, That's yeah. fucking insane. I mean, add that death to that. Oh, my goodness. Bro, have you have right. you ever seen the Holiday Inn that's down there? I was like, no. There's a Holiday Inn, but it used to be county. Right. Like, back right. in the day. County. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. They used to hang people there. Oh, my God. Like, you could still... They, they, there's rooms there that are booked because it's like... Ghosts live in those right. rooms or some shit. Right. I don't know. I don't know the logistics of. Well, they're booked all year because ghosts are living. Yes, 
That's fucked up. Yes, no, bro. You can't, exactly. You can't, those, you can't have certain rooms. Certain rooms. You can't have room two thirty nine. Yeah. If I was a ghost, I'd be like, <laughs> I just want to fucking sleep. God right, damn. Right. Can everybody? Is that what you would alone? say when you, if you were a ghost when if they gentrify your like, house fuck! and start twerking in the living room? And shit? <laughs> I'm like, what's she doing yeah. here? <laughs> on the coffee table? I want to get back oh, to that man. one. Right? I want to see your, your your ghost reaction when. They turn your, your bedroom into a dance floor with no, poles. No, they turn my they fucking den twirling. into a kitchen and then start <laughs> okay, selling yeah. rip-off fucking tacos there. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what'd they do to my den? I feel like the movie Beetlejuice. Man. I just got to walk through my fucking house and watch all these white people just tear my shit up. Right? Damn. My shit hey, so, would be like The Shining. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that... Force that's just I recently hotel. watched that. I still yeah. haven't seen it. And yeah. it, it was it's like, like uh, yeah, well, I killed I, everyone, man. Uh, yeah, it was it's it's tripped. It was Stanley Kubrick, right? Yes. I I have a. He I also inherited. filmed the moon landing. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. He you haven't heard that one? He might have. No, he might have. What? You think? I'm the moon landing was fake, it. and Stanley Kubrick uh, fucking uh, filmed it. That's that was how you George Lucas. No, nah, get out of here. It was Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> man. Nah, it was Quentin nah, Tarantino. Nah, nah, nah. The moon landing was fake. I don't believe it. Bro, I don't I don't know. Today uh, uh I was listening to that uh that Rogan with Oliver Stone and the whole episode of Oliver Stone's talking about the JFK shooting. And it's crazy. Oh, like that's all uh, it's crazy. Like, like you I never really I never really scratched the surface of the JFK shit. Really never bro, seen. you never seen the smoking gun where like the CIA Killed FJ. No, or like, F- like F- I just never cared John about F. it that much. But like, after hearing that shit, like, I want to see some shit now. It's <laughs> crazy, bro. Like, there's a lot of crazy shit out here that, like, that's why I don't trust just things. You know, like, you yeah, don't trust things. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> the water. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start there. A whiskey. I don't trust that. Yeah. Uh, you want to hear a JFK story? I got a story for you. Bring it. I, I, okay, let's go. <laughs> so me and Dolph, we go way back. We go way too fucking back. Twenty two thousand nine. That's yeah. how far we go back. So we we're freshman year, was it? It was freshman year of high school, and it, it, we're doing a field trip. And like, so where'd y'all, where'd y'all go? We went, we went to Dallas, but our school was City Center Health Careers, like this hole in the wall school. Trip. Yeah, and I'll tell, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why Dolph got kicked the fuck off the trip. <laughs> Here's off the why. Trip. So I'm, I'm pumped for a fucking. Month. I'm like me and my boy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? We're gonna go to Dallas. Me and Dolph. You on got the fucking, cool water on. Yeah, cool water. I'm like, I got my fucking Game Boy charge for the bus. My, yeah, my right, iPod right, is got fucking the cable ready that to go. You and Dolph can play on. I wore Aspen. And, and so I was pumped. I was ready to go with my boy. Like, let's go fucking rip Dallas a new asshole. Damn. So, what happened? So, they were, they were so, 12 at the time. Okay, Damn. So, fucked up. so, so you're 12 year old. At, you, you'll go no, up I'm to not Dallas. 12? <laughs> oh. Dolph is like two years younger no, than me. You were 12 or, at the time. Oh, right? no. I wasn't 12 at the time. Oh. So, you were like 14 at the time? Yeah, I was 14. 14. Uh, I, no, I was like, fi- I was 15. Oh, I was, okay. He was so 14. 15, 15 year old dreams. Yeah, ready, yeah. 15 ready, year old, ready, ready, ready to fuck shit up in Dallas. <laughs> so, <laughs> got some drink they told us, cool they told water us, <laughs> right, we're going to go to uh, this Shout out to Cool where, Water Cologne. Where they do like all the dead bodies, and you're going to get a look at what the fucking inside right. of a dead person looks like. Some old oh, so, man. So, that's where, that's where, so the body like farm. You're going to the body yeah. farm. Basically you went there a body for your field farm. Trip? Yeah, body you farm. went there. I oh, went there. Okay. Not him. How, How come you didn't get to go? Okay. Let me, no, 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 no. What let me you do? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you do? All right. No. Get a little closer to the mic. Don't be scared. I know he does. But it's Dolph's story to tell. Right, 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 right. It's Dolph's story to tell. Hey, Dolph, tell it, and then I want to hear his version. Can we, do, we have time for that? <laughs> so we're about to go. We're getting a big lecture because the principal from the school is just like, all right, class, uh, we're going to Dallas, so we're going to need you to, like, you know, they're giving us the rules, and, like, they're walking us through it of, like, the itinerary of what's going to happen on the trip and <clears throat> what time we got to be there on the bus for the morning. And so I asked, is it okay if I brought a duffel bag? Oh, shit. 
And <laughs> well, because I'm gonna have all my stuff in there. I'm oh, not. I'm shit. not like. <laughs> what kind of stuff? Just my. Uh, books, what kind of stuff? What do you? What do you? What, do you, what, what does no, a twelve year old dog no, have in his backpack? He's, he's going <laughs> shopping. Well. He's going shopping. I guess. Yeah, I'm going shopping. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I was gonna hit up Macy's or some shit. Just oh no! no, no hold on, hold I on, thought on, you on, were on, getting on. cadavers. So sorry. I asked if I could bring my duffel bag, like, like to put. I don't know. I I don't know why I asked that i thought i needed like you know more shit and so i asked what's in the bag i like clothes or like I don't what's in the bag what's the bag for clothes and like books and shit i know it sounds like i'm like bullshitting but i'm not like that's I, not even the fun part of the story no but like i'm, where, I'm yeah where's the fun part of the story? yeah where's the funny part of the story so she tells me uh no i'm like oh okay cool and then i'm t- he's next to me <laughs> and I'm holding talk- hands. We're holding hands. And I, t- I, t- uh, I was like whispering, I'm like, yes, yeah, like, I was like, and then I like did a gun thing in <laughs> class. Oh. No, you did it. No, no, okay. Here we here go. Here we go. I'm looking for the truth. Let's hear the truth. This is the truth. This, this is, is what happened. <laughs> So, he doesn't want to incriminate himself. <laughs> so, well, no, 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 no. So, like, I, but I, right. I did it, it jokingly. I didn't mean it in, like, you know, I did not mean any seriousness when I said or did the gesture of, like, pull, like, she made it, like, but, pull a gun out. Like, what the fuck? Let's see if we, and then, uh, no, she actually said, like, no, because they're going to get the wrong idea. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And so I'm like, all right. So then she tells me, like, you know. Mauro Mal- doesn't believe it. But that's what happened. I, I saw it, and I don't believe it. So then I get, she tells me, like, you need to go to the principal's office, like, right now. And so I'm like, oh, you saw that. <laughs> you, you did the gun motion. I did not think she bag. was <laughs> looking my direction. I, but she saw it somehow. Right. I, and then go to the office and I'm right. waiting there and I'm like, oh, man. This dude got a gun I motion and a duffel up. bag. And yeah. this dude was just like, all right, I brought, like, the iPod. I have all the songs on the shit. And I'm like, cool, because we made a playlist. We're going to listen to it. They're, they're, they had the earphones. Like dude, this. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember doing that. I didn't that. have my own iPod, so I was just like, dude, let me yes, listen to yours. Dude, Bro, like, I remember right, that. Cool. You I got remember. all the songs. Bro, that was, that, that, that's some, like, So we had, like, right Pearl there. Jam. We had, like. We had all the songs. All the right. songs, man, that we enjoyed. Bro, I, lo- I love grunge music. I and don't know if you know that. I love. Yes. Ask this guy. He knows. He knows yeah. I love Soundgarden. Oh, yeah. Pleasant likes grunge music. Oh, he Pleasant yeah. got me into grunge music. Yeah, in like ninth grade, like so, like Nirvana, Alice in Chains, probably like oh, always. Like, how'd, how'd you get mud kicked honey? out of the trip though? Huh? Yeah, yeah. So what you do to yeah, get kicked a, out? She she sent me the no more. she no sent more. me to the office and told me with like another like this the assistant principal I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name. I don't want to. I don't know. Don't say his name. I'm not gonna say that. But the like dude, the dude. The man said, okay, dude, um, that was very unacceptable behavior, so we're going to have to let you go on this trip. I'm like, oh, man. Okay. Let's hear Pleasant. So, let's hear Pleasant's yeah, version. That's, that's my version of the story of like he, what he, happened, why I didn't get to see. He TSA'd you. The fucking JFK shit. So, <laughs> just so you know, well, every story only needs like ten percent truth in it. Right? <laughs> so let's let's hear Jay's version with the ten percent truth. Jay's that's version. Your, that's your, that's your you, ple- you've given the hundred percent. Now version. we're gonna hear Pleasant's version. Pleasant's oh, okay, version okay, okay. Of the 10%. I'm gonna give it to Pleasant right now. He's ready. He's ready. Oh, fucking time. Yeah. So. Whoa, so fucking happened. Yeah. What really, what really grinds us Okay, gears? so we're outside. All, all the classes are outside. The principal is like, okay, hey, everybody, here's the fucking rundown. What's going on? Tomorrow, we're going to the fucking body farm, whatever. We're going to check that shit out. After that, we're going to go to Spaghetti Warehouse. After that, we're fucking coming back to San Antonio. End of story, behave, whatever. And in the process of, uh, of all that, Dolph is by me. He's on the opposite side because we just didn't... They just said everybody come together. So we it wasn't like aligned by classes. Dolph sees me, looks at me, and <laughs> like that, like like the I want to eat out a girl. Easy, like kid like, pin, like kid yeah. pin. Tongue flip, yeah. out, right? <laughs> Tongue flip like three times. Principal turns, sees him, 
was like, my office, no! Oh, wow. <laughs> With the teeth and everything. So, <laughs> Dolph is like, that's some kingpin what shit. What did I do? <laughs> Dolph, Dolph just goes to the office. She finishes telling everyone. And then, once we're done, Dolph's in the office. Day ends. I talked to Dolph, and he's like, yeah, I got kicked off the field trip for making I want to eat out motions in front of the principal. <laughs> and so I just fucking had to trade different places with different people on the fucking bus. Didn't well, to... that's not as bad as bringing yeah. weapons. Yeah, I or, thought or... Dolph brought a gun. To I, the... I, I no, totally Dolph thought, didn't bring a fucking gun. I totally thought he was going to go to the cadaver farm and, like, come back with, with souvenirs and shit. With <laughs> duffel bag. Like, <laughs> with with seven, seven, seven hands in a duffel bag or something I, like I, that. I, so, so right now, if you don't know, we're jamming some Zerktronic. The song that complements Pleasant's version. This is House Sippin'. Hey, how, how long you been doing the thing with wood like that? Eight years now. Okay. Running out of the Damn. garage. It's a crazy story, man. Shit. What? what talk you to me. You got time what, for all that? I'll, I'll make it quick. What, 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 what's it was, the story? What happened? Well, how how, well, how my, does this come to be? I mean, like, you, you're, you're my, a bad man when it comes to it, man. Like, like my, how you tell me, where, where you tell me the wood comes from and seeing what you create. Like, you do some right. dope shit. Like, I ain't amping you up. I'm just being real. I've always thought I that. appreciate you. I mean, that's why I got a piece of Thank my you. crib of yours. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what? I got the best, the best customers. Chop, you chop. chop. You, it's not going to break. <laughs> not gonna no, break. He found that out. <laughs> right, right. He's Did like, you I really? tested it myself. It's not going to no. break. Oh. I wouldn't want to break it. No, I like that thing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Kai. Man, I tried watching season four of that and I really didn't dig it. Uh, well, you know, you gotta watch it like in part. I haven't watched any. I'm, I'm avoiding it. Yeah. Mr. Miyagi's not in it. You're right, he's not. <laughs> so anyway, so how'd you get in, get in the wood so like building? My, uh, my best friend Mike Jones. Shout out to Mike Jones. Like uh, the Mike Jones? Not the Mike Jones. Oh, okay. Fuck Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. Whoa. That mother fucked me over for oh, 500 all bucks. All right. Hold up. Let, With let the rapper? The, the rapper Mike Jones. No, no, oh, no. Oh, not this Mike oh, Jones. Oh, this okay. Mike Jones. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Mike Jones. <laughs> oh, shit. Back oh. then, they didn't oh. want me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mike, Mike Jones. <laughs> Everything he I said, let me out just out take of, it back. Uh, I take it back. I reel it back in. My bad. <laughs> Mike Jones, shout out to Black, Black Sphinx Tattooing. Um... He uh, he said, "Come over and, and think with me and Mike. We can't be around each other without partaking in some some herbage." And he said, "Hey, let's make a bed." And so we took these pallets. So what kind of bed did you make? It was uh, it was like it reminded me of something Mr. Miyagi would sit on, like oh. uh, like a little Whoa. like a little <laughs> like a <laughs> oh. It is, it is that type of podcast. <laughs> It's not that type of podcast. It's not that type of podcast. <laughs> oh my goodness! So anyway, uh, so so the the shit blew my mind, and uh, I kind of like. Long story short, I I quit my my telemarketing job. I told him my internet was not working, and at the same time, I'm in the garage <laughs> learning how to do the shit right, and uh, I quit because I, I realized that shit fucked up my paycheck. So I was like, "Fuck! I'm gonna I'm gonna go all in," and I've been grinding eight years now, man. And uh, September, I was on the cover of San Antonio Magazine. Oh, and uh, fuck yeah! Hey, Maker's Edition, Maker's yeah. Edition, fuck so, yeah, yeah. I'm, and it's all out of shit I find, and I and I freestyle every piece. I don't really do sketches or anything. That's baller. As it's fuck. just. How oh, you just like through. imagine it and then you make it? Right, 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 right. Like, oh, that's like, that's dope to be able to have so, that talent. Man. So for for you, what I did is I came in, I looked at what kind of space you had, and then just kind of talked to you. And, and then the night, bro, and, I remember you were all you just went like, yeah, you're, yeah, it goes to about right here, about my waist. Like right, I remember you right, took right, measurements right. like that. Right. So I knew roughly how how I wanted to do it. Right at the end of our conversation. I already had an idea of what it was going to be when I made it. And then it's just a matter of putting the shit together and making it look real good. And uh, so, 
how do you how do you do that with the patterns? Do you just stain the different wood or what? Sometimes stain, paint, burn, um, you name it. And I uh, and you I try made to some do bones. Yeah, man. Yeah, custom dominoes. How much does something oh. like that cost? That's bad. Oh, because um, I, I, I the bones and I make a box for your bones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So lid and everything. Uh-huh. So it's like a bill. Damn, that's not bad. No, Some. and last long, last long, and it's slam. You can slam them. Hey, right. That's fucking badass. Right. For Thank a bill, me. that's worth it. That's gonna last yeah, a lifetime. It's gonna last a lifetime. Yeah. I grew up playing dominoes, man. I saw I like learned how to count. My my dad always had like yes, card yes. parties, like uh, dominoes. Uh, I used to do inventory, so I used to see things in groups. Like just I so still, you know it, the way he played, you had to. It was ten to get on the board. Just so you know. Oh yeah, yeah. No nicks, no nicks. No I thought I thought here. that was like every everywhere well, you play. You, well, you can play the watered down version where Look, no as nicks. long as you, yeah, you gotta. No nicks. <laughs> yeah, I'm real nonchalant, just like. Bam. Yeah, I mean, you have Bam. to be. You have to be. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Three yeah. switching bitches. We need to play some dominoes. <laughs> I know. Day, it's man. like, I, I played the other night with some homies unexpectedly, and man, that shit felt good. Like, they're all, you want to play? I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to make you some loot. And then I like watched them, and I was just like, all right, I got next game. I got you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to make you some. I got, I got you. We'll, fi- we'll figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like but, Monopoly? Uh, uh, huh? Monopoly? Hey, you know there's a San Antonio edition Monopoly? My dad got that for my mom for Christmas. We should do a Monopoly podcast. We're all just Monopoly. Like, yeah. Man, man I don't know if I don't I'm good at Monopoly, man. My so people are socially, economically disadvantaged. Yeah. Man, I remember I used to play Risk, and I used to use, <laughs> lose friends to that game. Risk? I mean, it's all... Risk. It's Wait, just what a is game. Risk? Not... The Ukraine is weak. You never oh, seen that Seinfeld man. episode? Where they're playing Risk <laughs> in the subway? I haven't gotten to that season yet. Yeah. <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> I watch that shit. Yo, shout out man. FK because that's FK's favorite fucking show. Is nah. yeah, dude, he could quote. Hey, FK's a good guy. He could quote my, every that, that's episode. The, that's like, the homie, right? He really can. Yeah, FK man is the guy in that photo right there. The shout, out to, yeah. shout out to shout out to Dink. I know he's making some some man, dope I shit in Kansas I City right now. I should have wore my uh, my uh, Huracan Ramirez uh, Luchador mask here. No, <laughs> fuck y'all. Then. He would be mad. Man, about I love that. Luchadors, man. All right, all right. No, I'm just playing. Now the the man, you're the, the, the homies pops re- wrestles. He's wrestling what on the 14th? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck. Where's it at? I forgot. I um, think it's I think it's the wrestling place off Flores, right by the the Salvation, Salvation Army. Salvation Army, yes. Like the Wolverines or whatever. Yeah. It it that one's cool. That one's very professional. I like the other one. Well, the other one's There's cool. There's more than too. one. Yeah, there's more Educate than one lucha me, spot. In the yeah, west yeah. side. Yeah, there's, there's lucha like, spots, bro. There's yo, like one like, time no me and FK. Way. One time me and FK went to a lucha or match. Like the like, the homie's dad's like a legit wrestler. Yeah, legit. Right. Lemos dos. Yeah, that's the wrestler. And he and he wears the same mask that FK wears. It's historic. It's fucking. It's a lot of respect. But like we went to this fucking luchador match, and like they were sharing the same uh, party as a. Uh, eight year old's birthday, <laughs> so like <laughs> they were wrestling like for the eight year old, like <laughs> but not really for the eight year old. It was for the, it was for the crowd. That was the best birthday. But it ever. was the best <laughs> fucking like the kids were having fun. Like oh, we went into the entrance and they pulled us in. They're like, you want some tacos? You want some corn? You want some? Like bro, we went into this like bro, I went, I went, line. I went to I went to one off Poplar Street. You know what I'm talking about? Popular. Yeah. Popular Street right there. And I remember this fool ran into another fool. And the whole crowd just gathers around that guy's car because the guy was trying to dip. Damn. Yeah, bro. I was just like, oh, damn. They ride him for everyone like that. Like, the hood the hood knows everyone here. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> that shit tripped me out. Was that Lanier? Nah, nah, nah. nah right, like, right here, right here. I-10 in, like, Colorado. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right around there, right around there. Uh... Man, yeah, man, I I I love the hood around there. I remember Bottom Bracket was there. Oh, oh shit, R.I.P. Bottom Bracket, <laughs> R.I.P. Tito, man, R.I.P. Tito, for R.I.P. sure. Tito. Yeah, man, Bottom Bracket Legend. was great. I used to love that bar. I remember like uh, I think I threw a bottle at a cop car one night <laughs> on my birthday. I was all drunk. Next thing I know, the place is surrounded. Shout out to everybody who got me out of that situation because I didn't go to jail that day. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was, that's ballsy, man. And I had a hat that said veteran in the game, and one of the cops was all, hey, what, what, 
gamer are you a veteran in? <laughs> and I'm just sitting there smiling like, yep. The pussy game. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, man. They were already fucking me up, bro. I didn't want to get fucked up more. But yeah, they let me go that night. I actually, that's like one of the first places I performed at. For real? Back in like uh, 2015. Like, bottom bracket was a spot to just, like, no one really cared. Like, you know? Like, you just played. Yeah. You it, was, played it, was mad, it was Mad Max there. Yeah, like, dude, it was like, sick. Like, like st- the security is the homie. Like Yeah, you just, yeah. <laughs> fucking Julius. Yeah. Shout out Julius. Shout out Julius. Best security guard in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that was a good time. That was a real good time. Yeah, that, that was a good era right there. A lot, of, a lot of fun stuff happened. Uh <sighs> Man. What you got going on, Lou? Oh me? Yeah. Uh, not much right now. I'm just kind of chilling, just just trying to figure out these podcasts more. Right. Trying to like like. It's good stuff, man. I'm trying trying to hook my sponsors up. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to hook them up better. So so we could get more shit going. Cause it's it's hard, like having to like appease someone else's lane. You know what I mean? Right. Like. But shout out my sponsors. They don't. They don't ask for a lot. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, Ams, uh, get character printing. Shout out Gemini Vato. I appreciate all the work y'all do. Y'all are awesome. Shout out Smitty. Thank you, Smitty. I appreciate you. I'm gonna get you Friday. I get paid. <laughs> it's hard, man. It's hard work. Like it's work. Like I, I sometimes I just you know this is my way to vent. Get get some shit out, and still be social because it's hard to be social right now too. Right. Like. Like, this Omicron shit's kind of scary. Like, I'm seeing a lot more of the homies get sick. Like, oh, Marion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his well, PSA like, about it? <laughs> no, I, I saw his face. It was like, next. <laughs> yeah, he put, he, put, he put a PSA about it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> That's funny when you got to do that shit. But, uh, yeah, man, like, this this new variant, it's, it's scary seeing some of the homies get sick that, like, you didn't think we were going to get sick. Like, I, I, I don't know. This, 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 this virus... Whatever it is, I, fun. it's something, and it's, it's scary. It's, it's scary. aliens. It's su- it sucks that like you have to have paperwork to go to certain places now. Like, yeah. Yeah. like that shit's that shit's weird. Like, yeah. like I don't like talking about it too much because I don't want but people places. to know my whole position. But like, oh. Oh, yeah. y- you know what I mean? Like, right, yeah. right, right, right. No, like, sure. it's weird. Like, subject I don't know. change. Yeah, 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 so yeah. How's yeah. the album going? Yeah. So how's the album going? Yeah, I want to hear some beats. How's the album going? Pleasant Puss. Hey, be, be, be nice, bro. It's going good. I just sold one of my drum machines, my machine, and just got the Akai um, with MPC-1. So that's a lot of fun. Damn. What? Gold. MPC-1? Gold. MPC-1. It's gold. It's gold, yeah. too. Yeah. And I, Plated. I got a fucking deal for it. So what happens is I was like, okay, if I sell this, I want to at least use the money for a new one, too. So, normally they're going for like seven ninety nine on reverb. Well, I'm looking at that. I'm like, I don't want to drop all that. So I just find someone on there. I lowball them an offer. I'm like five fifty. Of course, everybody's gonna turn it down. But I want to see what they're gonna say for it. Well, guess what? My five fifty. The guy messages me. He's like, "Fuck no, I ain't gonna take a fucking price like that. That's stupid." He's like, "But." I live in San Antonio too. I saw your location. I'll sell it to you for five fifty if you want to come pick it up. I was like, okay, okay. So what? You 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 drove to Walsham to go pick it up? No, I drove to a police station to pick it up because I was like, I don't want to get shot. I I made up some story. My homie got shot buying a TV off Facebook. I had had that happen to some friends at Rolling Oaks. Right. Hey, Marbach. Oh, shout out to Marbach. Marbach is. Yeah, man, it's getting crazy. Like, right, <laughs> that place has changed. I, my one of my first jobs here, I worked at the Red Lobster in Marbog. Hey, 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 Red okay. Lobster over there. There was, yeah, yeah there's there still a Red is. Lobster there. Shit, yeah, I they, got a fucking gift card. Yeah. <laughs> Get that gift card, man. Shout out the gift cards. We gotta keep up. <laughs> how do you, how do you use a gift card when you got like eighty cents? Just use it to if, if you accidentally lock yourself in a room, like right. put it in the doorway to unjam yourself. Is it, is it is it then like a coupon? I just give it to someone there. I'm like, hey. so it's just like a card. Yeah. Look, I got it with me. Shit, I'll pull it out. 
I got me up. Man, gift cards are wild. I sell those hoes at work and like, it's just like, oh, you promise you can come spend some money here? All right, here, here's $30 worth of our credit. Boom. Nice. Right oh, he's got the black card. You get right all the biscuits. Oh, man. Everybody says the biscuits. The biscuits. I've Shit, never man. tried the biscuits. Man. Man. These cheddar biscuits? Oh. Bruh. Oh. I like, can sit at Red Lobster for at least really three hours good? and not eat <laughs> not a damn thing. Bro, <laughs> I would, water and I cheddar would, biscuits. They, I would sell make, them, they sell them at H-E-B. Have, yeah, they, have, they do. They do. Have any of y'all ever seen that? You ever seen that movie, Waiting? White yes. Castle Burgers at H-E-B. That, that was my life when I worked too. at Bennigan's. Well, fucking, you know then. <laughs> I tried Everybody in the restaurant burgers. is, <laughs> eat dog shit is like that person. The dirty white boys that sell weed. The expo in the back. But the dude showing the goat. Right, man. But those biscuits we would the make. The bat wing. We would bring our own bacon. Damn. And, and put them in the, bri- in the biscuits. Peanut butter and jelly in them. Oh, you so know. they're not like frozen already. Or no. Something. Well, oh, they're... Well, I don't want to give away any secrets. Just say. Well, let's not give away any secrets. But they're good. You said enough. I said enough. <laughs> <laughs> they're on to you now. <laughs> Red so, Lobster PD outside. Oh, oh, <laughs> Damn, I got like, the helicopter. You, 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 you telling biscuit secrets? <laughs> Bro, it's funny. We like told I've, you about this. Come here, I, I feel about like this. I feel like they don't even just kick your door in anymore. They just pull you over down the street. Oh, yeah. Technology, man. They man, just it's, pull it's just too much work. It's too much work. Your paperwork. Fuck that, man. Just wait till he comes outside. <laughs> <laughs> they just pull you over down the street. They're like, like. I saw one go this way, and I went yeah. this way. It's like we could catch him at a Burger King. Yeah, right. yeah. They just wanted—they just want to catch you off guard, like, Woo. like. So you're just like, oh, hey, Luke. You're disoriented. So you, so you, so you don't have all your guns with you. <laughs> I I, I'm chicken guessing fries. I get, I'm guessing they're Fuck. just trying to do it for their own safety or whatever. But like, yeah, man, like. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, what's in those nuggets, <laughs> bro? Bro, got the what time? What time they're on? Meal. <laughs> He was all, it smells like weed. And I was just like, uh, well, yeah, there's a joint right there. Like, what's up? These nuggets smell like weed. Fucking you look at it. Got contraband uh, nuggets. Oh, my God. We yeah, I don't like these nuggets. I don't yeah. I'm, 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 I, I can't wait till July 4th. Drop those nuggets. I've been, I've been a good boy. I can't wait till July 4th. I'm going to be a good boy until then. Uh, you are a good boy, man. What are you talking about? You're our good boy. Ow! Uh, so what? You got any shows coming up, Zerk? Other other than Sunday, uh, fucking night shift, man. That's the fucking. Well, first thing. Friday, right? Yeah, first Friday at Remedy. It's a CBD bar. Uh, if you want to cool. come see him spin, they, you can yeah, come see him spin right they there. They love um, live art. They love fucking just yeah. Like artists. if you want, if you want, to, if you got to vend anything, you want to vend anything. That's a dope yeah, spot. It's right. First Friday, it's super dope. It's on South Russia, so like. Like, it's just like, dude, Gus's chicken is around the corner. Ooh, shout out like, Gus's fucking chicken. I'm, I'm fucking always down Vanessa to sling my wood. Gus's house is around the corner. Like, it's in a good yes. spot. I'm always down to sling my wood. Yes. That's a great place to do it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good place to do it. For sure. What? There's, there's a different <laughs> different kind of thing. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said uh, I, would, that, that I would love to sling my wood. Yes. Oh, yeah. You get it? Yeah. No, I don't. You get it? And give I'm it, give it to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> give it to your wife; she'll love it. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. That, that, sorry, folks. That's 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 woodworker we'll humor. We'll be right back. It's not one of those humor. kind of podcasts. Yeah. Sorry, it's um, my first. Yo, time on here. the cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like that whiskey it's killed it. Like I'm feeling good, yeah, feel and right. I think we killed the bottle already. Oh, it's almost Craig. there. I still got a little bit left. Man. <laughs> Yeah, we've been killing mad bottles here. Like, uh, uh, we need to do something healthy next time or something. Yeah, <laughs> kombucha, <laughs> bro. I chug water. I chug room temperature water. I love. I I, yeah. I don't know what it is. I just love room chugging shit. <laughs> shout out, this, shout out, room he temperature knows I'm always water. down to chug shit. Water, oh yeah, the yeah. Dog challenge. <laughs> Y'all ever did the Lou shout dog challenge? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't want to do that. What is it? <laughs> Like chug a beer. Just chug a chug twelve a ounce uh, can of beer. Twelve ounce can of beer. Yeah. And you win a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't win a shirt. A but I am going to be giving out shirts yeah. soon. Shout out State Premium Ooh. Prince. What? What is it going to be with the sombrero? No, it's going to be another logo. Uh, one of my homeboys from because uh, I um, love that thing. One of my homies from Russia actually made it. Nice. And like he sent me this logo. Like uh, I didn't even know homeboy. Shout out Kristoff. Shout out to the Ruskies. Like. Uh, that's mad love. I, I I told him I was gonna send him like a care package when when I make this shirt. Lou knows everybody, right? 
Dude, all city. <laughs> all city, Lou? All city, <laughs> but yeah, right there. Shout I did Chris see up. that. I'm gonna oh. make I'm gonna make my metal logo. Dope. Yeah. Because oh, it's one color, easy to make. All the other ones are kind of complicated. Yeah. But um, shout out State Premium for that. Shout out Guats. Uh, I don't know. I want to do more merch. I want to do hats too. Ooh, I like I've been thinking about hats. Like I kind of Gemini Vato sent me this logo the other day that was super dope. Uh, I think I might use that. But I kind of want to mess with the color scheme. Like. I don't know. That one. Are you coming up with these logos? No, I, I have a I have a friend who uh, just sends me logos. All day, he's just thinking about you. Gemini he's hooking Vato. me up. Gemini Vato. Like, I hook him up. I talk about him on my show. Like, Gemini Vato, man. He does his Gemini shit with Vato. the virtual yeah. pulga. Yeah, like, dude. he's right. made he's made like uh, uh, dolls. Sick. He's a fucking badass designer, entrepreneur. Like, yeah. that's my boy right I there. I Yeah, I... I yeah. I've, like Man, check it out. He made the, he made the, he made this the other day. This had me rolling. Yeah, I saw that. That had me rolling. Right Lou, there. I low key stalk you, man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he I made don't... the costume. I want to see the co- I want to have a photo shoot with this costume. That's Did you see nice. the costume? Because he made a doll too. Like you like, should do like a day with Lou, and then it just has like the male vato. Bro, yeah, we just we just I did just, I just just did the thing with Toby. Yeah. That was that was interesting. I took Toby in a bar. Like I already told told Powder, him. Powdered to- wig club. I told Powder Wig Machine, like, yo, yeah. I took Toby to a bar, don't be mad at me. He was like, No, nah, you could loot. <laughs> 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 but at least I was honest before I just showed him the pictures. Like, yo, dude, this doll Toby is so like he's down. He's he's ugly, bro. Like I had to learn that it glowed oh, in the wow. dark. And it's big, bro. It's like almost as big as like I had to learn it glowed in the dark, like, <laughs> on my, like, it was sitting in this chair. By accident. And I was walking to, like, go spin oh outside in the morning, and I was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, look, like, dude, this is the doll, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was fucking- <laughs> oh, man. Lou went, wee! First off, that's like, that's like life-size glowing in your house. Like, what the man. Fuck? That's crazy. Wait, so, like, you, oh. <laughs> you brought it around with you, like, to the bars and all that I took shit? it to Amor, like, I got pictures with the owner of Amor, like, with the, with Toby. I got yeah. the bartender, like, like, shout out JC. Shout out Dom. Thanks for helping me out that night. That was mad fun. Like, fuck yeah. Like, the bartender's all like, you're cut off. Yeah. <laughs> I had strangers dancing with it, like it was fun. Yeah. Like, um, I had to, I had to tell this couple, like, hey, can y'all get out of the way so I can take a picture with my doll? Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. So dope. Fuck yeah. Have you seen Toby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a fun week with him. Like he, he was definitely like interesting. Like that's a big ass doll. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's a date. <laughs> yeah, they were looking at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and nobody asked questions why you had it. Uh, no, no, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. I mean, they would just, they just kind of like, like it was like it was like that. Like I knew the I knew the bartender, so I told the bartender like, "Yo, I'm gonna come in with this doll. Like, don't get creeped out." They were just like, "All right, cool, whatever, Lou. Don't get weird." <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't make this weird. Don't as, make long, this weird. as long as it's not a sex doll, Yo, you're good. Lou's in the bathroom with the sex doll. <laughs> no, I think they're expecting a sex doll. When they see that thing, they're like, yeah. "What the fuck?" Yeah. Like, Everyone on, was dude. just like, "Whatever, like, cool, like, yeah, it's Lou." Yeah, <laughs> straight up. That's dope, dude. But yeah, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna post next week. Uh, the homie's gonna post the video that I'm gonna make of my week with Toby. It was a lot of fun. He made beats with Mikey Strange. Shout out Mikey Strange. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Shout out Mikey Strange. It was, it was, it was a good good week. Like We had some fun. Oh, let me add Dolph. Lord Dolph. Lord Dolph? Lord Dolph. At Lord Dolph. At sign. Arroba uh-huh. Lord Dolph. Uh-huh. There you go. There you go. One and only. The one and only. Lord Farquaad. <laughs> <laughs> three. Pick number three, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shrek. Yeah, it's a good show. Good ass movie. It's a show, it's a movie. I've only said. Well, I mean, there's. It's a fucking franchise, right? No, they're movies. Though. Like I've seen yeah. the shorts. <laughs> I saw the holidays. <laughs> I've only seen. I've only seen one and two. That's why. Damn, oh, you haven't seen three and four. Talking, I've never I think it's weird if I watch that shit. Movie night. We're gonna do a Shrek movie marathon with you, Lou. Mm, 
I'm got to. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> you thought about I've it. I've seen the first one and the second Shrek. I've I seen thought they were pretty dope. So what's the coolest thing you think you've made? Shrek. Like with your hands? Um. Wood or anything. <laughs> well, I mean, wow. y'all, make, y'all make music like yeah. with your mind, and I, then you put I, it out there. I wish I could make, make music. I wish I could make music. I make you with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an MPC one, you know, it's actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, you know what I mean? Like, like everything's different. So that's like an idea you put out. Like, I don't know. It's cool seeing what you make. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, I, I'm, I'm still in pursuit of like, uh, the greatest thing I ever made. I don't know. Oh, bet. Okay. Okay. So everything's a challenge. Cause I try to do something different every I re- time. I really respect that. That's what's up. It's coming. This project's going to be a big one. I can't wait to see if if tomorrow goes well. Isn't it crazy how every project you learn some shit? Right, right, like right. Like, every right. podcast I do, I learn some shit. I learn, like, yo, like, I don't know. I can't say right at this exact moment, but all I know is I learned some shit when I re-listen to this. Because, like, I listen to my voice, and I'm like, I hate my voice. No, man, you sound good. Like You sound good, Lou. I... Hate fucking recording my voice. I feel like I sound like a baby back bitch. Yeah, I hate it too. I hate my no. Back. no hey, shout, you don't, shout, bro. shout out Debs KOS. You know what I mean? When you, you sound good as fuck, Lou. Right. If you follow the show, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, what show? Uh, the Los Cinco A. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I appreciate everything. Everything I do. Everything is a learning curve. Like. Bro, I know the next one I do, I'm doing one-on-one with, like, some artist and his manager. I don't know if I can, if his manager's going to talk at all. And uh, I ain't going to lie, I'm kind of nervous about that. Like, like I've heard a few of this dude's songs. Pretty dope. He does his thing. I don't want to amp him up until, you know, his episode. But, uh, yeah, I just met these dudes at the mall. They just approached me at the mall one day. Like, I, I noticed he had a hoodie on of some, like, some local person, and I was just like, yo, I know that person. I know that person's work. Like, da 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 We started talking next thing you know. He's all like, hey, will you interview my artist? And I'm just like, yeah, sure. Like, this is how I do it. I wanted to put some other rappers on there, because you know how yeah. I like bringing people yeah. together. Yeah. And he was just like, nah, like, can you just me and, do me and the artist? And I'm just like. Why are you going to conform? I, I don't know. Like, I, it, I really don't feel like it's conforming. I feel like it's more of a challenge, because I haven't done that yet. Like a one on one. Yeah, you know, That's like fair. I haven't yeah. done that yet. That's fair. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you For you sure. know what I do? Like, yeah, yeah. So like, That's some, like some Breakfast Club. Just, like you, just some, something one on one. Like, like I, I know, I know, like a uh, uh, Zerd requested for that. Yeah. And a uh, Cree kind of like hinted like that's how she wanted to do it when she comes on here. Yeah. So it's just like okay, let me try this. Like, let me try this. Like, uh, uh, it's a little different. Like, they're all I, I learn off all of them. Like, come on. I had never met that fool Dirk. He's been on the show twice since since I met him. You know what I mean? Like, like I didn't know Ronan, but we had a great episode. Like that was fun. Like, I'm trying to spread my wings a little bit with this and meet with some people that I don't know that I'm not super comfortable with. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because yeah. I can shoot the shit all day with my homeboys. You know what I mean? But I feel like I'm not going to grow unless like I actually try and. Do you're something. you're taking this serious. Why well, wouldn't I, like, it'd be, it'd be fun to get paid off this. I ain't gonna lie, like. You should. <laughs> you should. Like, I'm spending yeah. my paycheck to do this shit, and this shit's a lot of fun. Like, like I said, I learn from it every time. But uh, it'd be cool to, like, get paid. Or at least not, uh, like, break even. Hey, I like your ringer. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What are you spending Sunday? It's real on the nose. <laughs> um, you said all house set? Just all house wax. Like, straight records. Like, what do you spend when you spend, like, a set like that? Shit. Well, this is, like, kind of, like, my second time doing this Who you sp- Who you spending with? Uh, Mr. Sprout. And, Sprout's uh, dope, bro. Yeah, Sprout. He's been doing it for a minute, bro. For real? Bro, like, they they used to take over when I was when I was managing the bar at a, at a, that Tiki bar, uh, Concrete Jungle. Oh, shit. Like, they would, he would, he would come and take it over there. Yeah. 
Bro, I want to see you spin in the air, the air glide, the air, the air, air thing one day. That's what I'm doing. When? Uh, Sunday. They're taking the airstream there. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You ain't pulling my leg. <laughs> Wait, what's an airstream? That fucking mobile home <laughs> silver thing, thing that they no, got. No, 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 no. Looks like it a, a metallic it Twinkie. It is a big silver it is? Twinkie. They're mm-hmm. taking it there. Where are they putting it out there? Um, on the fucking porch. On the floor. Deck. That shit's dope, bro. Like, uh, uh, it's dope when I see them do that shit. I remember they do it at the Pearl all like fucking last few summers. Yeah, it's a fun time, man. I really like that bar. It's just like, hey, that bar's a so, good bar. Yeah, it's so it's like so peaceful over there. You know, like I, I love that you can go next like door and it's the paradise. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because that's yeah. what what's the name? Hello Paradise. Hello, Hello Paradise. Hello. <laughs> I know Guillermo's opened up around the corner from there. Like the Italian restaurant? Get a little bit closer. Don't be scared, bro. You're scared Italian to go to restaurant. church. <laughs> yeah, Guillermo's, like the Italian spot. Yeah. You can get the pizza with fucking wings on it. Really? What? what? Yeah. Oh, you oh. had that? Say no. it again. It's a, it, it ain't the biggest pizza. It's like a, it's like a small Still. pizza, but it has wings on it. Oh. Guillermo's is dope. It's there. It's 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 downtown. Like, uh, Can I get a pizza with wings? I promise you can say that and you got it. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Spot's I, good. I'm glad I don't care about losing weight. <laughs> Especially <laughs> here <laughs> yeah, we, San bro, Antonio. It was so crazy. So the, the other night we were sitting at the, at, the, at the spot and he was like, we're hungry as shit. Like, all right, can we get something to eat? I was like, all right, well, fuck it. Let's get it. Hey, don't pizza. be scared. Be cl- pizza. Be pizza, 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 pizza. So then freaking, so we grabbed this. Uh, so I ordered this pizza from Tanks, it's like right hey, there. Hey, I fuck with Tanks. Yo, so shout, shout out, out Tanks, tanks. right? Uh, awesome spot, right? So we're going there. Tanks hooks, hooks up the light catchers. Man, it was it was dope. Walk in there, start talking for like two seconds, and I was like, oh, you got a bar. Uh, yeah, they shot. do got a bar in there. Hey, I want a pizza too. <laughs> I really came for pizza, but you got a bar. So I was like, fuck. So 20 minutes later, I come back, and they're like, it took so long to get through the damn pizza. I was like, well, yeah, I got two pizzas. How about that? Shut the fuck right, up. Right, right, right. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck with tanks, bro. Yeah, I, man. I got Good sawdust on my pizza. I know. I know. My homegirl has a has a pandaria right down the street from there, and a coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Mama Chifladas d- does her thing right down the street. Mama Chifladas. That's not the name of it. I can't remember the name <laughs> of the shop. Like that's her Instagram <laughs> handle. But uh, uh, I like that yard there too. It's fucking big. That train yard. It's huge. Seen a lot of cool shit roll through there. Trains. Yeah, man. Trains are fun. Trains are interesting. Yeah. I like running them. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you, you, you're going to lose a, a finger, second. bro. It took me a second. You're going to lose <laughs> a finger, oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <Ba-dum>. <laughs> a wooga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you need a, like a laugh track. I know, yeah. <laughs> like a, like a clap track. Right, right, right. What, right. what else do I got? Yeah. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's the first one. Let me hear that joke again. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear. It. They don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, okay. It's the wah 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 wah. Oh, okay. I just there got a couple is. things. I never oh. fuck with. If, if you follow you the got, show, you know the only one I fuck with is. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> that's the sketchy one. You got to do the drum one more. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, Smitty's supposed to come over fine. I haven't, I haven't, like, I'll see him, like, like we just swap the cards, and that's it. It's just like, hey, later, bro. Hey, you have a good night, Stan. Because that fool's just so busy, like, like, uh, uh. He makes COVID tests or some shit. Right. And he also produces my show. He edits it. Like, if hey. I tell him, like, yo, let's edit this out, edit the dead air, like, edit the story out. Like, we, we figure it out. Like, shout out, Smitty. <laughs> 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 he saves my ass a lot because I don't know how to do anything. I'm not good with technology. I'm horrible oh, with technology. Man. I barely know how to use a camera. <laughs> but you're good at it. I'm Damn all right. Good. I remember I'm this right. one time. <laughs> it was like, how do I send this photo to Live Olo? Oh my God! And like, yes, and you got so like you were frustrated with yourself. That I, I was. was like, I was like, Lou, calm down. <laughs> it's all good. Like we're gonna figure this out, you know. And like I was like, 
I was right. so bad. You're yeah, right. You were I just mad. Can't, I got frustrated, bro. Like I had tried a few times. Like I'm not good with labeling my shit. I use a hammer all day. So and like I don't technology. edit. I don't. I don't edit any of my pictures. Like. I always tell him, like, I think that's corny, like... Man, you're one shot, one shot. That's how I like to try and do it. Bam. But, like, He's got I don't kids know. all around the world. I probably... <laughs> shit, I ain't got no children. What you talking about? I ain't got no kids. But, uh... Got uh five kids in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, I'm not good with technology. I got hard drives I need to look through. Some of them I forgot the passwords. Damn. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the worst, dude. They're just locked. Probably got some real good stuff on there. You just got you create so much dope new content that I I don't think it matters, you know. But I kind of want to show some old shit, like the shit went from when I went to Detroit a few years ago. Yeah, my God, that shit was. If you find it, shout out Slow, shout out out Rehab. Yeah, like Homeboy was beefing with like like uh, that's his story to tell one day, man. Like he was, it it was dope. Like seems like they had it dope up there. They had they had a good time. Uh. Well, shoot. Since there's that much dinner, I'm just going to call it. No. Oh, oh okay. Well, then talk. No. Not at all. So are you still doing the photo game? Yeah, man, of course. Of course. I'm, I'm always going to take pictures, like, just for me or, like, my friends. Or, like, like when my friends get married, I'll make them a photo book of the night. Right. Like, that's one of my favorite things to do. And, like, uh, uh, I never charge anyone for that because it's only my friends that I'll do that to. Like, I'll take the time to buy the film. And like sit there the whole fucking day. <laughs> you, don't, you don't you don't crash weddings. Take I mean, I have a good time. Like, damn, I don't know. Yo, Lou went to Penners. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I go to Penners. That's my spot, oh, bro. Shit, I would, you said that. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with Penners? I'm just, I've been no, dressing like an old man. I've been just, dressing like an old that's man. That's how hard man, he fucks. Man, I went through a wide vet <laughs> stage when I first started smoking weed. Man, I grew I grew this fro. I went. I had how long had have you been a, growing your dreads? This is three years now. Oh, okay. This is three years now. But I had I've had many different hairstyles. So right when I was introduced to Mary, I, I grew this fro out of nowhere. I started wearing bell bottoms. I was like in the seventies. But I had fucking Wyavetta on all shades of colors. All those pockets, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. The other night I was pulling the camera out one of the pockets. Right, like what are these? What are these point and shoots? <laughs> I, I Man, it's so here. it's so expensive to fuck with those though. Here. Like, oh, oh man. yeah, the it was a good time. Why don't we each tell a story here? Well, well what? Like, what you talking about? Okay, what you talking about? Okay. Oh, you talking about? To, uh, if you got something, you gonna beatbox? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So, anyways. But, um, Sorry for that. That was really cringe. But um, <laughs> that's how I... I'm going home. I, I'm walking. The, I'll take the bus home. <laughs> the first time I, like, saw your work, like, I've heard about you. I know you've been a photographer for a very long time. But I actually got to see, like, a physical copy of your book when I first went to Zertronic's house. And um, that's what's up. You know, I was looking through it, and, like, I think one of my favorite photos is of that, you know, I think I told you about it before, the, uh, when you're out in uh, Nevada, and there's, like, a, uh, like, a couch in the middle of, like, this desert. Oh, yeah, that, that was my cover. Oh, yeah. That was the only, that was the only one I took in, like, I want to say 2021 20, 20, or 20. That was a very beautiful shot, man. That was the only shot, but everything from the else of that book was from 2020. Yeah, it just looked like a, a still from a movie cell or some shit. Like, it looked Bro, we so were, good. We were just like, we, we, we were actually driving to LA. We were going to go pick a friend up. And then our, another friend landed in like Vegas. So we had to turn around in the middle of the desert. <laughs> and I just saw that shit. <laughs> I don't know. I had was, a good time. I had was, a good time driving in the desert. That was a good book to work on. Hey, bro, you killed it, like, bro. That was I appreciate you for that. We like book. worked on that too. I know. We almost like got a, to fist fights yeah, a few times. A couple times. <laughs> like every time actually. Can we let us because you'd be on your fucking phone while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll like, always be like, Lou doesn't care. Oh, oh my Lou, god. Yeah. Oh. I'll just say that. Like I'll be like on the computer, sweating. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing this. I'm eaten. doing that. 
You know, I'm working on. Hey, you cover. made it. You made it look great, bro. You made it everything was look great. great. It like, was fucking beautiful. like that like, shit was fun. Like it's a lot I of fun. love it. There's like, a reason I have Gotcho style tatted on me, bro. Like I appreciate <laughs> doing that work. I appreciate you helping me out. Like that's my shit. Like if I work on something, I want to work on it with you because I know you know yeah. that shit, and I know we can go that to was, the end of the world with it now. That's something that like <laughs> I was very proud of. <laughs> And, well, you yeah, sh- and you should be proud of. Too. I am, bro. Like, like that was like a fuck. Bro, I only I only have ten left. Part three. Yeah. Part one and two. I got maybe like. You gotta two, put them in left. the archive. No, nah, man. I got like I mean, like I got a bunch good hoarded good. at my mom's. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> That's Dude. what I do. I just hoard shit at my mom. She won't throw it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she I made a paper baby together. <laughs> yeah, man. It was a lot of fun. A lot. The, the, there, there are a lot more that I saw that were like. Part, part, part three was the only book that I actually, like, uh, uh, put an agenda to and, like, actually cared about. All the other ones were just, like, shit I would see throughout the year. Yeah. And I would just be like, all right, let me throw all this shit together. Yeah. And, like, I'm trying to figure out what I like better right now. Like, yeah. like the organization of twenty of part three is dope, but, like, the randomness of part one and two is dope, too. Mm-hmm. Like, part I don't, four. I don't, I don't know, man. We still need to do that. That's going to be a fucking hardcover book. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Do it. You say I mean, that's the next step. I would assume. I mean, know? yeah, bro. Like, level up. You haven't. You haven't. We haven't really sat about if it's it. It's gonna be hardcover. I think it's gotta sheet. be a bunch Add of a pictures. Sticker sheet, yeah. A scratch and sniff sticker sheet. Sticker yeah. sheet. Do they have? I'll take a scratch and sniff. Yeah. Sticker? A scratch and sniff. <laughs> Did you ever play Earthbound? Like, oh. I haven't, but I know you have. Well, if you buy the original Earthbound, you get like a book with a scratch and sniff. And some of that's so gross. <laughs> it's like an alien fart or something. Oh. I'm like, this one smells like malt liquor. <laughs> I just, I, I keep thinking about the the, the markers. What that, you uh, mean? The, the, the sniffing markers. Oh, <laughs> markers that you sniff and it tastes like oranges. And hey, I remember uh, those. Yeah, those were delicious. 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 <laughs> Fucking love. It. Except for the black licorice. Oh, I can't yeah. do licorice. Oh. Oh, man. Lou, you got to come by the dungeon. Shit, invite me. I'm down. Yeah. Hey, I still remember when you showed me a, a little homie did graffiti on it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Bad Crew. <laughs> is that who that is? Yeah. Man, I, you know what? I wasn't even mad. I was like, dang, I wish they would have asked me to tag my building before because I would have paid them. <laughs> they tagged it for free but they're, they're double what they do I like it I like it yeah man uh, uh, Spurs man I got Spurs <laughs> what do you got so, so the Spurs game okay Oh, if we're so, doing stories, so I, I do a stories. throwback story because this is like let's hear, the let's first, hear. What's up? This is the what's first going on? What's going? What's going on? I ever had with Dolph. What's going on, Mauro? So, so what? Y'all are like ten years old. No, we're not. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> holding hands. <laughs> okay, so you're fourteen years old holding this hands. Like back <laughs> in high school, whatever. <laughs> Me and Adolph, Adolph's parents would let him like come stay the night at my house. Blah blah, whatever, whatever. So. We had to do, like, beach trips, or we had to do whatever. So his dad was like, well, let's do a fishing trip. Go Calaveras Lake. It was cool. Did you catch anything? I had, like, a net and just caught, like, tons of, like, minnows or, like, tiny-ass fish. It was cool. It was cool. Like, Did you catch anything, Dolph? He's nodding his head, no. I caught a baby he possum. Said, he said, fuck that. Oh my <laughs> god, you said a baby <laughs> possum? A baby possum. It wasn't for lack of time, man. I was fishing. I just didn't catch it. <laughs> Wasn't fishing, but here's what happened. So, Dolph's dad, you know, he's just feeling himself, vibing himself out. He's like, man, I'm going to drink some booze, get down on the grill, you know, all that. He cooks for us, and he, he's not trying to put a lot of love into it. So, it's just sliced cheese from the brick, some corn tortilla, and here's chicken on the bone. Do something with it. <laughs> so, men style. So, I was this little picky chicken bitch, and I talking. was like, oh, I don't eat chicken on the bone. Really? That's gross. No. I don't beat that chicken. So, his dad looks at me like, really? Really? Like, okay. Eat whatever. Like, Just eat. 
corn tortilla and cheese if you want them. <laughs> That's all I brought. <laughs> so I ate the corn tortilla cheese, whatever. It turns dark. His dad is like, man, I'm going to go throw a couple lines in the water and see if I catch something. So he's over there. Me and Dolph were just like chilling by the campfire, talking away, chit-chatting. And then we see like this big fucking rat or something. Just on the lake chilling. Just not on the lake, but like trying to dig under this branch or something. And so we run to his dad. He's like, Dad, there's this big fucking rodent thing over there. Like, his, And his dad just drunk. Like, like, watch it. His dad was drunk. <laughs> he, was far away. he was far. His dad tells him, well, what the fuck are you doing? Go <laughs> kill it then. Go kill the fucking thing, dog. And he's like, well, dad. He was like, I don't give a fuck what you say. Go kill the fucking thing. Hey, so did you kill it? I didn't kill it. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> How'd you kill it? So we go back to the camp. We're freaking out. What'd you do? Did you, did you like throw a spear at it? Wait. Wait for it. Did you shoot it? So did you electrocute we're it? We're talking. Shoot and I'm did like, you poison it? I'm like, Dolph, you got it. Did you drown it? You got to kill it, Dolph. Wait. Shout, shout out my boy Ernest. He used to drown the possums at my crib. Oh, my God. <laughs> so what happens is... Animal control took too long. <laughs> <laughs> His dad had this, like, homemade, like, hammer... Like, just imagine a So what, you just hit it with the hammer? I didn't guess the hammer. It's a sledgehammer head. (laughs) And then his dad just had, like, an iron pipe welded to it. Like, probably, like, a foot long. So, like, miniature heavy All right, so we're going to hear about fucking... So Pleasant's creepy, creepy animal killer. We're like, now we understand. Oh, so you, so you use Mjolnir. Hold on. So we're like, so I'm you like, store his hammer. Kill it. Your dad wants you to kill it. He's like, oh man, I never like killed so it. So you before. killed it. Dolph is a I peaceful. Was like, Dolph, you gotta yeah, Dolph, fucking kill look it. Look at Dolph. He looks like he's about peace. And I had the hammer in my hand. I was looking at this little creature scurrying for its life, and my dad's yelling at me, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. My dad's drunk, too, so I'm just like, damn, this is a real fucked up situation right now. Kill it. it And I couldn't do it. So. I couldn't fucking do it. Hey, hey, hey. Remember, your name is Adolf. Kill it. I'm not mad at you. But his dad was. I'm pr- hey, well that that's that's besides so the point. I'm so like, you killed give me it. the fucking thing. All right, 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 all right. I grab the hammer, <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, yo, all right, all right, all right, all right. We get it. We fucking get it. Wow. You you fucking lick the hammer. All right, we get it. You smashed the fuck out of that hamster, man. No, 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 no. Hold on. It's not a hamster. It's a wild animal that was getting into. It was like a I don't fat want. Round it's not like oh a cute just... guinea pig. It's not like oh no. This is like like. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want anyone to get cited for fucking whatever the fuck. Why would you cited? That was my way of trying to change the subject. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'll do it again. I got a story. What you got? Let's all hear right, it. so. I worked at the uh, AT&T Center years ago. What were you doing? Uh, I was warehouse manager. Okay. For the concessions, so supplying hot dogs for for the arena, basically. And so, uh, all the I like the roasted <laughs> 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 Oh man, it's 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 Elijah Elijah Craig. That one took a minute. Um, so. On this particular day, my my general manager says, "Hey, uh, the the Chili Peppers chefs they need the kitchen, whatever they need, uh, make sure they got it." So they had three chefs cooking for all the Chili Peppers, and I walk in, and of course, you know, I ask them what they need, and the head chef says, uh, uh, "Can you can you roll this kind butt up for me?" And I said, sure thing. So I took my r- pack of papers out of my so shirt just, pocket. So you just ro- rolled up for the chef? For the chef. Okay. Go to my office. Uh, I, I rolled his fat doobie. And me and him uh, smoked under the vena hood. Nice. <laughs> nice. Chili pepper chef. I Pretty just remember cool. uh, uh, 
Man, I used to love uh, the floor where they have that, like, all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant up there. What? Right. That shit is so dope. Yeah, you pay, like, that's, 80 bucks for that's, it. That's the uncommon level. But it's oh, so good. It's like, the you know, they, they, got, they, got, they got food. They got courses. <laughs> they got in the good shit. Dang, Lou. Where's this at? ATT uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this is where do they still do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, the last couple, like, I haven't been to a game in two years since, like, I used they to have still got it. Shit, you know, they I'm still pretty got sure it. they still got it. Shit was dope, man. Like, he's on the baller plot, the baller. That level. shit was fun, bro. Like, yeah, that shit was good. How about those Spurs? Yeah, you're not doing the greatest. Night. I haven't been uh, keeping up. You know what? Honest. I haven't, but exactly. it's a young team. But they're I in it no every game. The starting line. They're, I don't either, man. They're all I know is twenty DeJounte years younger. Than, That's it. Right. They're all young. Don't be afraid to get close to the mic, Dolph. Dejounte yeah. Murray is the only Spurs player that I know, but I'm willing to like know who these new people are. Right. Because those Spurs go. Those Spurs go. <laughs> it's the only thing we got in San Antonio. Those I believe Spurs the Spurs got a chance go. to take it all the way this year and. 2053 is uh, Spurs' year. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah, give them like, like 20 years. Next, next year. right. And then this yeah, year, the right. Cowboys yeah. will win another Super Bowl, right? Next year, the Spurs are going to gonna do really well. I don't know. I don't keep up with any sport. Cowboys suck. Yeah. You know what? I don't either. I like UFC, I man. Who do you like in UFC? Uh, Dustin Poirier. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty cool. Don't be afraid to get close to the mic, bro. Dustin Poirier. You like don't need to be yelling slice. at me now. Uh, <laughs> R.I.P., bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm so R. fucking R. high right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm peeking. I'm peeking. I'm edging. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I appreciate everyone sitting with me tonight. Yeah. We're sitting here at an hour and 36 minutes. No longer. Ooh. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> if you're scared, go to church. Ooh. Yeah. I to be know. continued. So, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, did I tell you about the next project I want to work on? Which one? Remember, remember the last one I did of like like that that picture I messed up on like of the saint. Oh yeah, the one that I told you that was just like this is gonna hit. Bro, I want to do a series like that. That like, shit. Different I, churches, different saints. Like you yeah, took, dude. You took the one that's in your apartment, right? The one that's hanging above my keys. Yeah, that's a dope picture. That's a dope. Everyone picture. looks at it when they walk out. They're like. That shit was an accident, bro. I was They're trying like, to get the church. I, I was all fucked. Up. I was all fucked up just taking pictures at like three in the morning. Sick. Shout out Little Flower. <laughs> uh, you should one do the, that. One of the best ones is the, the the portrait picture of the saint. That's what I'm talking about. With I wanted to I wanted to do a church series like in that. the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did y'all get that one at Sama? No. What? No. Oh. What you, does that did, even mean? Did, no, did you post one this week that San Antonio Art Museum. No, I know. Museum of Art. Museum of Art. Oh, this is getting Same messy. Shit. I know. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> well, this, hey, this I appreciate all y'all listening. This is Telo Sequels. It's your boy, Loser Lou. I'm going to end it before it gets to an hour and 